my vlog. <laughs> this week I traveled to Normandy in France. I came from the Champagne region and I traveled um, to the National French Studs. Stud? I'm not sure. Um, to do a few courses. I've done a course um, in the Farrier department and I'm doing one tomorrow in the Foaling department. This is really weird because you can't, you can't see my mouth move. Um, but I am speaking. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, in, in these uh, next few vlogs, I'm going to show you what I've been up to, uh, my farrier course, if I can, my foaling course, and I went on a beach ride on the coasts of Normandy, um, which was really nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. type building. Um, they have quite a few five-star events here, I believe. Um, at the moment, there's just some people doing some training. Um, I think it's for, oh, I was going to say for trotting racehorses, but it's not, because it's currently cantering. <laughs> some sort of cart pulling discipline. Um, yeah. And I think when they do eventing, it happens behind, I mean, I think it probably just circles around there and then expands all the way there and runs all the way down there. I'm not entirely sure. Anyone that's evented at the Arras du Pain, please comment and let me know. <laughs> Um, but the, this building here is the big castle, and usually you see people, they get their photos taken down there on their, during their course, and you can see, um, you can see the castle in the background, so I'm gonna guess that's where they do it, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I can see, I think there's step, like a step complex over there. But anyway, it's really beautiful. I've been visiting the grounds by myself, there's like, um, what do you call them? Little steps on the floor. Little horseshoes painted in white that you're meant to follow um, to guide yourself around the facilities. But um, I don't know how I ended up from like point three to point seventeen because it's numbered. So I might just call it a day. Because um, I've seen the most important stuff, but I think right now we're in stable block number three. what's down there but it's pretty quiet probably another stable block
this is where the heavy horse is. And I look at him. His name is Erio. All his infos up there. He's down, his sire. He's a Norman Cobb. Hello, okay. This is another Norman Cobb. It's called Heron. This is a Pertron. Called Spectacle. I'm guessing stable walk number three is for the heavier horses. So, let's go and have a look elsewhere. Was headed back to my car, just parked over there. Um, but the horse I just saw go out with, um, oh my god, what is it called? The carriage. <laughs> um, he just headed this way, and I think there's an outdoor arena this way, so I'm gonna go have a look and see if there's anything fun to watch. If not, then I'll just go back to my car. <laughs> Door arena. I think this is where they have horse shows. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I need one of those. There's no one in here currently. That's a very cute setup. I don't know how well you can hear me speaking through my mask, but I'm not supposed to take it off around here, even though I'm literally by myself. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> if someone comes across me and sees me without a mask on. Okay, so I think I actually went inside there. I think there's an indoor school in there. So, yeah. No watching horses right now. I'll go back to my car. Maybe I'll show you my room, even though I'm pretty sure I didn't make the bed this morning, so it's probably looking, you know, less than great. I mean, it's not really fancy anyway. It's like, um, um, <laughs> how do I... I joked to my friend that it looked like a Scandinavian prison cell. Because, you know, those are like high-end prison cells, but it's like... <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs>
right. Whew. Okay, so let's go back to the, what's it called? I'm doing really bad at translating things from French to English in my head currently, because I'm mostly speaking French. So I'm <laughs> struggling a little. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's just across the street over there. It's where they do all the courses, um, except for the foaling, that's in a different location that I will show you if I get the chance. But yeah, let's have a go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, I've, uh, <laughs> I've run out, or I'm nearly um, out of my internet like credit on my phone, so. Um, hang on, let me turn the camera around. I was saying, um, I'm basically nearly out of internet credit on my phone because there's no Wi-Fi here. Or there is one, but it doesn't actually work. So I've been using my um, 3G and 4G, and I drove this morning to go and do my beach ride. And it was an hour long drive. And uh, someone's parking, they're gonna think I'm crazy speaking to my phone on a stick um it was about an hour and a half long drive and i wanted to save up my not my wi-fi but like my internet credit and uh yeah so i put the uh radio on and this is what i was listening to oh that's a guy speaking it was like opera and classical music <laughs> i'm not an opera connoisseur but yeah this is what I was listening to <laughs> anyway let's go The building I did the farrier course in. This one over there is where they do the saddlery. So you learn how to do the stitching and working with the leather and stuff like that. I think that speaks for itself. It's the um, stable block for the competition horses. See more I'm not sure. I don't know if I can go in there. This is where they keep the carts, like the carriages and stuff is inside there. Some horses over there. My room is inside this building. The one with the curtains shut. That's my room. So I did make my bed, but really, really badly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I also, I got a few books. Got a few books. 
that I need to go and return to the library before it shuts. Of course, I got the books in English, um, ophthalmology, podiatry, some very interesting things in there that you don't come across. Like, I mean, this might be a bit graphic. There's some photos of like, eye injuries. I'm not sure anyone wants to see that. <laughs> But um, just stuff you don't really come across. Just doing basic yard work or just going to a writing school. So they've got all the references there, the papers and the peer reviewed studies. Yeah, so I've been checking these out and I was gonna get some more references at the library of books that I'd like to have a look at and learn some more stuff. Another thing which is quite nice is that I can see my stable block from my room and I can hear them neighing at feeding time and in the morning. It's very soothing, soothing, better than this ugly, I don't know what that is. I think that's where the library is on the other side, some offices.
So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and found it interesting and aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> um, yeah, so stay tuned for more, more vlogs in this region of France and um, hopefully I get up to some more horsey fun soon and I can um, post some more videos then. <laughs>